Hi, hello. I'm in the beautiful state of California. And while I've done quite a few road trips here, I've never gone past San Francisco. There's so many like Pinterest articles and different videos about like the ultimate California road trip being like San Diego and Los Angeles and Big Sur and Joshua Tree, which are all incredible areas. But also those are all places I've been to many times and I wanted to mix it up and kind of do like a road trip focusing on natural beauty, but that's not what you find on like your average like Buzzfeed article. Since I can't travel the world, which is what I was supposed to be doing this entire year, I figured I'd get to know my home state a little better. I decided to create the ultimate, you could say, Northern California coastal road trip to make it to the Lost Coast, focusing on natural beauty along the way. So I rented this car from Vancraft in San Diego, grabbed Fletcher, and came up with a loose plan of what we wanted to do. So here's what we're thinking. So we're starting in San Diego where I'm picking up our rental van. We'll make our way through LA, hug the coast, cruise through Big Sur, which you'll definitely read about in all the tour guide vlog posts. We're gonna head through San Francisco and now is where it gets fun. There's Sonoma County, Mendocino County, and if you look closely, there's a secret stretch of land where the road juts out and it looks like there's no way to get there. But plot twist, there was one windy road that will take you there and this is the Lost Coast. It's a fairly untouched and undeveloped stretch of coast that is just beautiful, expansive forest and ocean as far as the eye can see. And of course, I've got to give you a little van tour before we hit the road. Hey, welcome to my new temporary home for the next week or so. I'm gonna give you a tour, let's go. We have all the amenities we could need. I got the sink right here. Here we have a working stove top. We got an oven. We got all the gear. Great storage up here for any dry food products. And what do you know, there is even a refrigerator. A lovely little sitting area here, which can also be converted into a longer bed because I am six feet and a tall human and I need more space. In here, you got a mirror, oh. so you hide yourself. Extra storage for clothing. There are unit plugs back here if you need to charge your phone at night. There's this vent here, which is great for cooking slash cooling off the van. That's, that's it. it goes <laughs> and there's a light with a dimmer in case you don't want it too bright. Lots of great storage back here, surfboard racks even. Fit a lot back here. And then here, there's even a shower. Let me just help you out with what's cool. I'm just gonna take over guys, oh one second. Lena left out the most important detail. That solar panel is powering the whole car irrespective of whether the car is on or not. And that is epic in the realm of man. Currently driving through Santa Barbara right now. It's a little bit gloomy probably won't stop, kind of just charge through like LA Malibu area because we would love to get to Big Sur with a good amount of lighting still. So there are many beautiful options along this part of the coast that I highly recommend looking into. Just kind of depends on what you're prioritizing. For us, that's Big Sur. I think one of the most important elements of a proper California road trip is just eating copious amounts of Mexican food. So many people on the road camping. This is the year of the camper. Just caught across from like slow, making our way over to Cambria and San Simeon, which is kind of like the starting point of Big Sur, listening to some NPR. What is it? Oh, it's this American Life. Uh, this is one of my favorite parts of the state. Just cuts over from maybe 50 miles inland back towards Cambria. It's just this incredible valley or filled with oak trees. I 
kick you out of one So we've been hugging the coast along the one and finally reached Big Sur. It's safe to say Big Sur's truly one of a kind. It's a 90 mile rugged and mountainous section of Central Coast that can be found between San Francisco and Los Angeles. It's essentially a national treasure and I'd argue that it is one of the most beautiful coastlines in the world. I am biased of course, but I mean, I love it. It's incredible. While I've done quite a few road trips in this area, it honestly never fails to take my breath away with its raw beauty. We got the trusty van. boop a doo And Big Sur is like firing right now, if I do say so myself. Um, pretty epic. Hello. We are trying to resist stopping at every Vista point because it's absolutely insane. It's so beautiful. I actually made a Big Sur video like two and a half years ago now. It's surreal to be here two and a half years later because life was so crazy that honestly it might have been three and a half years. I don't know, but I remember that was the first time I ever talked about moving to New York and now I live in New York. Technically I've been away because of the pandemic, but so crazy to think about past me, little or me, and now to be here with some time in New York under my belt and just so much of life has changed. Cheesy, but it's a beautiful thing to revisit places that bring you back to just like a different stage of life and remind you of you know how far you've come and kind of force you to be grateful and appreciative for where you're at. This is definitely doing that. I mean, look at this. Like how can you not be incredibly grateful? Ah! decided to drive through as it was starting to get dark but if you have the time you could honestly spend days exploring the many state parks and beautiful hikes here maybe i'm just like you good morning good morning oh that's me talking to the camera but oh. <laughs> honestly slept much better than i anticipated this was a very comfortable bed and now i'm waking up to the beautiful slightly gloomy views of santa cruz i feel like it's kind of like the very beachy surfery town of the north. Let's check it out. So we're in San Francisco right now. Uh, we drove through the Pescadero and then we actually stopped to check out Mavericks real quick in Half Moon Bay. And now we're in the wonderful one and only San Francisco. The first two days are kind of just like long haul days to get up past SF um, into that really like pretty northern coastal part of California. So we're just still pushing through to get there and spend a couple days there. But honestly, being in a van makes it feel significantly shorter. I guess makes the time go quicker. I took a little cat nap earlier. Um, you can kind of like move around and like you have food. I don't know, it just feels different. It's nice to have that space to kind of stretch out. If you haven't been to California, you may not know that there's quite a big difference between the North and the South. From the weather and the wildlife to the culture, style, and lingo. You can expect the two different regions to feel quite dissimilar and you might even come across a bit of competition on who is superior. Really deep, beautiful woods, and then by the time you're in Mendocino, it's thick, 
Redwoods. We wanted to keep our plan open and stress-free, so we decided to go without camping reservations for the majority of the trip. Somewhere along the Mendocino coast, we noticed a clearing on a sea bluff with dozens of campers, and we pulled in for the night. Oh my god, this is crazy. So, in all honesty, uh, we really don't have set spots for every night. We're kind of figuring out as we go and using the app outlander. And we literally, like, stumbled across the RV spot, and this is the view. between Jenner and Point Arena. Just woke up and it's beautiful outside. I know, I'm upset. Hold on. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Mendocino is both a tiny town and a sizable county of the same name, known for its wine, rugged coastline, and temperate wet forests. This may sound crazy to some, but Fletch and I both agreed that some of the sections of the PCH here rivaled and perhaps even beat out Big Sur for its sheer beauty. Hello from a new day. Showered this morning, absolute game changer. If you can get a camper van with a shower, you will just feel like a million bucks. I could live in this thing for months. Just have pulled up into the little town of Mendocino. We're just kind of cruising through slowly here. It is so, so cute. I'm gonna get a little coffee and then head further north. I actually filmed a whole separate day in my life video from exploring Mendocino and driving towards the Lost Coast on my channel if you wanna check it out. It's cold in you. The only way to get to the Lost Coast is by plane, boat, or a single out and back, very windy and tedious road that takes you to the only town along its length, Shelter Cove. We made it! We made it! After a very long drive through the forest, lots of windy roads, my stomach kind of hurts. We are at Shelter Cove, Lost Coast, California. What is up? Let's check it out. Don't make fun of me. There's three at your table. This is the furthest north we will be going on this trip. It's absolutely insane. It's just like endless forests and cliff meeting the ocean side. As far as the eye can see, it's, it's unreal. It's unreal. Good morning. <laughs> so beyond exciting to be somewhere that's like semi uncharted to me, as in like I've never been here before. Well, I feel like I was transported to a new country here. It feels very, very special to be here right now. Okay, I wanna make the bed, I need some coffee, I can't. 
clearly conversating very well right now. There's not a soul to be seen. <laughs> I'm Where am I? The only footsteps on the whole beach. High seas collide with the volcanic rock and iron of the cliffs, leaving largely untouched black sand beaches to be explored for miles and miles. Fletch and I walked for hours along the sea without seeing a single person, which is truly a rarity in America's most populated state. For sure, this is getting a little sweaty in the last one, if we're being honest here. But this is insane. There's not a soul to be seen. I don't think I've ever experienced anything like this before. But at the same time. To be here is a reminder of the true vastness and diversity of California. A place with everything from some of the world's largest cities, to high mountains and low deserts, sunny beaches and dense redwood forests. What California might mean to one person could be a universe away from the experience of another. For me, I love it all and I'm so proud to call it home. Good 